All right, guys, Angel here, uh, only the big stuff movers. I have a 2004 F-250. Um, it really goes for any 6.0, really, or really any truck. Um, took it to the shop, and they changed the transmission. They couldn't figure out, after they put the transmission on, uh, why I kept stalling on them. The guy said that they would put it in drive, and it would be fine until they hit a bump and uh all of a sudden it will turn off and he's like maybe you need fuel and um i don't know i'm not a fucking tech guy but you don't need uh you can easily check if it needs fuel um i said did you run out of fuel and they're like i don't know we think so so we put more fuel i said did you bleed it uh did you get air in the system and they're like yeah we bled it and I got to the shop, I was like, where did you bleed it at? No lie, fucking, this guy is like, I was like, dude, where did you bleed it? Show me, I'm here now, you know, you couldn't show me on the phone. Um, where did you bleed it? He's like, oh yeah, I just bled it from here. And I was like, bro, that's the fucking coolant. He's like, oh no, then, then we bled it from the top fuel filter. And I said, dude, like I said on the phone, this truck does not have the stock fuel system. This has a, a fast fuel system. The old air uh, fuel filter at the top, the old fuel filter at the bottom, the uh, high flow uh, module for the fuel filter, I guess a fuel pump you'd call it. Um, it's not there, it don't fucking exist anymore. I've been trying to tell you that. Whatever you used to see on this truck is not there anymore. And he's like, oh. And then uh, I told him, if it did get air i mean the only way that you would bleed it would be that fuel filter over there you crack it open turn the key let it prime and fuel comes out close it up that's one thing i i'm thinking about but up there that uh fuel regulator the return regulator whatever um it has fuel. It just fucking tells them right there. It's getting fuel. He said, oh, well, the batteries are, are dead. So uh, we got to, you know, mind you, they're working on it. Right? They get stranded in the middle of the fucking street. While they're, while it's in their care, you know, my business name and all the fucking truck. Uh, my business name is on the damn truck. Uh, it looks embarrassing. This truck's just parked there on the side of the road the whole day. Them trying to work on it, hood up, blocking traffic. It's a busy street. That's embarrassing. My name's on the side of the truck. And they're like, oh, well, we've been trying to start it. It killed our battery pack. So we're going to run back to the shop. Um, I got there to that location after work. And then they left me there. They went back to the shop to get a tow strap. And I have a battery pack too. And, um, I checked them. They're both at 12. I said, okay, batteries are good. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Something. It was hot from all the time that they were trying to start it. And mind you, they already told me the key information. You hit a bump and the truck turns off. I'm not even a fucking tech. And I already know what to fucking do. So. I jump start uh the battery which i didn't need to really um i just needed to get out of there so i get the other truck we tow it into a parking lot that way i can work on it and um i was like you know what i hit a few bumps let me try to turn it on sure enough turn right on for me um while it was on i was trying to uh, replicate the situation they said you hit a bump and it turns off so what I did was um, while I was on I got under it you know moved wires around moved wires around um, I didn't tug on anything I wasn't trying to pull any wires out ruin any wires I just moved them around here and there here and there everywhere all around the truck I'm not a fucking tech guy, you know, but this is simple. Start with your uh, battery terminals. Everything was tight. What I did is 
I tested that battery. You know, it's a bump. When you know something's gonna jump, you know, something's gonna jump. Sorry. I'll move stuff around. See what turns it off. I went like this. Picked up the battery and, and I and I dropped it and see if I could replicate that. I just picked up the battery. And it fucking turned the truck off. Boom. So now I know it's one of these wires. Well, they all look tight, but this one right here, this. This wire right here was loose inside the clamp. So all I did was tighten it back up. This wire. I think it goes to the PCM, ECM, whatever. That was tight, but here it was loose. So, turned my truck on, I took it back home. They were supposed to have built a transmission for me, but I think they installed the torque converter wrong. Now, every time when I put it in drive, it stalls out. Like the torque converter is not properly uh, shifting all the clutches or whatever. Um, they probably put the torque converter on and then the transmission, which they should have put the torque converter inside the transmission, then put the transmission on from my understanding. So this shop is so dumb, you know, right off the bat, when he said this was the fuel bleed, I was like, okay, you guys are idiots already. I smelt burnt clutches too. And the other guy's like, oh, that's just the ether from the uh, diesel safe starting fluid. What? That doesn't make sense. I don't see any starting fluid that you use. You didn't use any. Um, that's fucking clutches. I could smell it. So it looks like they're gonna have to rebuild it again because they're so dumb. I'll post a video right after this showing you what I did that night where it turned off on me. Ready? Go turn it back on. Stay, I'm staying right. Let's check if it is that. We're gonna start it back up because we moved the battery. 